Hey guys, it's Holly, and today we are going to have a fondue party. I am so excited for this video. I am not about that negativity, so if you do not want to see me eat, then you can click off the video right now because I'm going to be eating all of these lovely treats with my little cute fondue set. Now, I do watch, um, there's a girl on YouTube, her name is Mish, LA is her username. Her name is Michelle Fowler, and she does mukbangs and I love her. I think she's absolutely adorable and she's so cute and everything she eats I want to eat. So she did a fondue video a while ago. I think it was like last year or something. I don't know but I was like oh my gosh I want to do a fondue video. So I literally went and bought a real Akuma fondue set on eBay and it's so cute. It is so tiny. It is winter themed and it has all the characters on it and they're so cute. It has Koguma. It is absolutely adorable. It is so tiny and cute and I love it. And then it has the bottom and then the little candle. So I'm gonna light the candle and put it in there. I have chocolate and then I have all of this stuff. And I literally am so excited. I don't know how hot this is gonna make the chocolate. I don't wanna like burn it. But I also don't want it to get too hard. So I'm trying to put it in there. Oh goodness. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. You can't really see it. In, I mean, you can, there you go. It's so cute and tiny. Okay, so I have my chocolate, and I hope you can see my hair because it took me forever to do it. Um, I feel like a pixie with my pink hair and my little green bow. But I have my little tray right here. So I have apples, strawberries, these payday clusters. I have pretzels. I have potato chips. I have mini vanilla Oreos. I have coconut. I guess they're called macaroons. I'm not sure what these are. They're like little coconut cluster things. I don't know. And then these which are Pepperidge Farm and I don't remember. I think these are called Tahiti cookies. They're like coconut because I love coconut. And I think that's it. <laughs> I have a lot of different stuff to dip. I'm so so excited. Let me stir this. I don't know how hot it's gonna get. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It also comes with this little stick that I'm going to try to use as much as possible. And then for my drink, I have this really cute Rilakkuma mug. I've actually never drank out of this. I've only ever used it to store things in my room. But it even has Rilakkuma and some chocolate on it. Um, I'm not going to be drinking anything like warm and festive because... I am basic and I just like soda. <laughs> so I'm going to be drinking this Canada Dry Blackberry Ginger Ale. And this is seasonal. We got it at Costco and this is like so, so good. I highly recommend this if you can find it. We bought like two or three pallets of it because we just love it so much. Even if you don't like ginger ale, it is so good. Yes, so I'm going to pour it in here. My little tiny mug. I don't know. I just love this. I love setting it up and I'm going to love eating it. I just want to have a chat with you so you can get a snack and just relax and we'll have a little, a little fondue party. I'm just so excited. It is a little awkward to drink this this way because I'm right handed. I want to hold it like this side, but this side is not very pretty. So I'm going to try to drink this left handed. This is such a weird mug because it's shaped like Rilakkuma. Okay. Okay, let's try some of this chocolate because I'm really, really excited. Let's do a apple. <laughs> oh my gosh. So excited. I love it so much. Oh, also, I will be talking in this video with my mouth full. So I'm really sorry if that offends you, but I like eating and I like talking. So I'm going to be eating while I'm talking or talking while I'm eating. Okay, let's do a strawberry. This is so much fun. Even if it's just me, like this is kind of sad, like you're supposed to do fondue with people, but I don't care <laughs> because it's really fun to do it by myself. I mean, technically, I guess I'm not really by myself because I'm talking to you, technically, even though I'm talking to my phone. Anyways. Mm, so good. So, 
this morning, this is a little payday cluster. This morning I got really upset because I was posting a Sanrio Loot Crate video and I was doing the end cards and I wanted to put the link to the video of my last Loot Crate, which was one of my favorite ones because it had squishy in it. And I couldn't find the video on my channel and I was freaking out thinking that I had like deleted the footage and I hadn't actually posted it. And then finally I realized that I had made a video with the Sanrio Loot Crate and Gudetama plushes. So the thumbnail is Gudetama plushes and not the Loot Crate. Why did I do that? I don't know. Mmm. That's good. It's a lot of chewing. It's a lot of peanuts. I don't want this to burn. Oh, it tastes like a Snickers. Mmm. How hot is it? Oh, it's not very hot. I think we'll be okay. I probably don't even need the candle on, but it looks cuter, so. Dang it. See, I'm like reaching for the handle that's not there. Ah! I just spilled it all over me. This mug. There's a reason why mugs are not shaped like this. <laughs> There's a reason why mugs don't have these two holes on them. I'm going to drink it this way. You don't get the cute side. I get the cute side. There's a reason why you shouldn't drink it that way. Why do they put the cutest part toward you? That doesn't make any sense. Sorry, I'm complaining about this mug. It's a really cute mug, but it is not functional. Okay, let's not, let's not spill all over ourselves. Okay, okay. I got these little pretzels. I love pretzels. They're like my favorite thing. Mm. I really wanted to get like actual soft pretzels. Can I put this on here? Sort of. But they didn't have like I wanted to get the bites and they didn't have those at the store, but these will do. Mm. This is so cool. I like this. I'm going to attempt to talk and like do a story time. I have chocolate all over my hand. Where did that come from? How did I get chocolate on my hand and now it's all over my leg? Oh, did I drop it when I wiped myself? Okay, well there's just going to be chocolate all over my leg for the duration of this video, but you don't see that, so it's okay. I forgot to mention my Christmas tree is behind me. So cute. Okay, what else? I have potato chips and I have specifically picked out whole potato chips because I don't know if I'm just weird but my favorite potato chips are the unbroken ones like they're my favorite I love them Ooh, girl so good I love chocolate with the salty mm, so good I don't know why I got these little mini Oreos, but mm, that's really good. So let's do a little coconut, coconutty. Oh, I love coconut. I know some people either love coconut or they hate coconut and I love it. That was delightful. I need more drink. Let's do another chippy. Do you like my shirt? It has lights on it. This is so much stuff. Like, why did I do so much stuff? Oh, wait, because it looks really pretty. <laughs> So 
So today, apparently, they voted to repeal net neutrality. And I don't want to get too deep into it, but I will say that I'm really, really sad about it. And I'm hoping that there is still a chance that it won't go through and that it will be preserved. The idea alone that there's a possibility that I would have to pay just to use YouTube and that all of you would have to pay to use YouTube meaning that some of you wouldn't pay to use YouTube which means some of you maybe couldn't watch me in the future like it's very scary and sad to me and I just I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen I'm just I'm worried basically at this point because I don't want people to have to pay to see my content like I don't want that to be a thing and it shouldn't have to be a thing you shouldn't have to I mean I think that paying for YouTube Red is fine it's an added service I pay extra for YouTube Red because I hate ads. I don't know. It's just very scary. I don't know a terrible amount about the process of it. I think it still has to go to Congress. I'm trying not to freak out right now, but I don't know. It's just, it's very scary. Especially now that YouTube is my full-time job. So if they make it to where people have to pay to watch YouTube, a lot of people aren't going to want to do that. And then I'll not be able to do YouTube anymore full-time. I don't know. That's a very serious topic. Sorry. Let's do a happy topic. <laughs> so I wanted to tell you guys the story of how I met my husband. Because I think it's kind of funny. And also, I don't really talk a lot about my husband, so I figured I would talk about it because a lot of people still don't know that I'm married and they think that I'm 16. <laughs> I am turning... Am I turning 30 next year? I'm turning 30 next year. Oh, God. Anyways. Those coconuts, though. Oh, I, mean, I haven't even had one of the cookies yet. So... My husband and I went to the same college. It's a very, very small college. Like, I think total there were, like, 2,400 students for the whole college. Like, that is not very big at all. It's very, very small. And so, basically, it's like high school. Like, you know everybody. And every time you walk to class, you see, like, 10 people you know. So... I was in, I majored in graphic design in college, and I have a graphic design bachelor's, and my husband um, was a chemistry and biology major, he double majored, and he was president of the chemistry club, and I had, I was in a film editing class, and part of our assignment for the year was to make, like, a three-minute long video or something like that. We had to make, like, a full video edited and whatnot. Well, one of my friends that I had known from growing up and just happened to also go to the same college, he knew that I did graphic design. He was also in chemistry club. And chemistry club was going to make... Excuse me. They wanted to remake their safety video. So you know how, like, you watch the video at the beginning of your class that's like, 
don't drink the chemicals, don't squirt things in your eye that you shouldn't, I don't know, <laughs> like the safety rules, like what to do if you catch on fire, stuff like that. Well, the video they had for that was like really old, like 80s, from the 80s, and they wanted to remake it. And so my husband, Shannon, was like, does anyone know somebody who does video? And my friend that I knew was like, oh, I know somebody. So he asked me if I wanted to do it. And I was like, yeah, that would actually be perfect because I have to do a video for my editing class. So I can kind of help you guys out and also use it for my, for my class to get a grade. So it worked out really well. So we set up a meeting. Me, the guy I know from home and then Shannon to talk about the I'm getting chocolate all over it to talk about the video so mind you I, I don't remember how old I was when we met I think I was was I 20 we met in 2008, so yeah, I think I was 20 years old when I met him, my husband. And we sat down in like a cafeteria area. And I literally thought that he was like almost 30 when I met him. When in reality, he was only a year older than me. He was 21. But when I met him, he looked very old. He was very, very dis disheveled. I was not attracted to him <laughs> at first when I first met him. I just, I mean, he wasn't unattractive, but I just was, I mean, I wasn't like, whoa, you know, it wasn't really like love at first sight with him. But, um, so we had a conversation about the video and I was like, oh, cool, whatever. Glad to help. So I went on my merry way. Now, I don't really remember the time frame of everything. But I think I had added him as a friend on Facebook to talk about the video that we were making. So I was friends with him on Facebook and I saw that he had pictures of his wedding. So I was like, oh, okay, he's married, cool, whatever. Because I thought he was older, right? And I like thought, you know, whatever. I should also mention that I'm from Texas. And this was a Christian school that I went to where the phrase was get a ring by spring, like as in you should get, you should aim to get engaged to be married by spring. Like everyone was getting engaged, like these 20 year old kids, which to me now I'm like, that's kind of young. Like maybe you shouldn't rush to get engaged by the time you're 20, but anyway, So I saw he was married on Facebook. Didn't think anything of it. So later on, like maybe a few weeks later or something, I see that the pictures on his, I don't know what I was doing. I don't know if I was just like looking at his page for some reason, but the wedding pictures were gone off of his Facebook. And I was like, that's weird. And I am a very nosy person. Like, <laughs> I will ask you personal questions about yourself. I will tell you personal information about me. I am a very open book. And I kind of, <laughs> I don't expect people to be open books, but I always, like, see if you're going to be an open book by asking, like, super personal. Especially back in college, I was very much like, so tell me her life story, you know. So I messaged Shannon through Gmail chat because that was like, I guess one of the easiest ways for me to talk to him. I don't know why. But I messaged him and I was like, hey, so this is really random, but are you married? <laughs> I just flat out asked him if he was married because I was like, I saw wedding pictures, but no. I think his relationships, well, I don't remember if his relationship status was different or the same. I'm assuming it was saying he was single. The whole time. 
But anyway, I said, are you married? I think I apologized first. Like, hey, sorry if this is really rude, but are you married? Anyways, so he said, funny story. I'm actually going through a divorce. And I was like, oh, okay. And then, of course, I proceed to dig deeper. Saying, oh, you know, what happened? How long were you married? When did you get married? Blah, blah, blah. It turns out that he had been separated from his wife for a long time. And he had tried to work through it or whatever. And then they got a divorce. Or were going through a divorce. So, that conversation that started with me asking him if he was married went on for like eight hours. I think it was. So, we literally were on... Google chat chatting for over eight hours and the funny thing is is that I still have the conversation because th since it was through Google chat it kept a log of it so every now and again I'll go in and I'll scroll through it and I'll like see our early days of flirting and it's really really funny to me now to like look back on I just got chocolate on the table but anyway so long story short I liked him, and he liked me, and we planned a date, and then there's a whole other part to the story that's, like, back and forth of me not really being sure about him, because like I said, when I first met him, I wasn't, like, super attracted to him. <laughs> if you guys watch The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, I don't really watch it that much. I've seen, like, one or two seasons, but I think it was Bachelor in Paradise, like, two seasons ago. There was a couple... And if you don't know anything about the show, that's fine. But all you need to know is that there was... Basically, it's a reality show where a bunch of people go on an island and then they try to, like, find their husband or their wife. And one of the girls and this guy, like, the guy really liked her. But she was just like, you're kind of strange and I don't know what I, have, what, I feel about you, what I feel about you. And she wasn't really, like, attracted to him. And then something happened. Like, he went to the hospital and then all of a sudden she, like saw him differently, and then they fell in love, and then they got married, and now they have a baby or multiple babies. And I love their story because it reminds me so much of me and my husband because in the very beginning, I was so unsure of everything, and it was like, I don't know, like, you're very nerdy, and I love I love nerdy guys, but he was, like, kind of awkward. I was like, I don't know how to feel. I mean, we got together, and we broke up, and we got back together, and blah, 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 and it was very back and forth because I wasn't sure, and then just, like... I finally realized, like, no, I actually, like, I really can't live without you. And it's just really funny because not all love stories are very, like, you know, I don't know. I like the love stories that start off like mine, which are very unsure. Because not every love story is like a, oh, I love you, you know. Anyway. So that's, in a nutshell, the story about me and my husband. This is so much food. I haven't eaten one of these cookies yet. Okay. Oh no, am I burning it? Mmm. Oh, it's really good. It's like two coconut cookies with chocolate in the middle. Might be a little bit too chocolatey though. Potato chips are my favorite. As you can tell, they're gone. I think I'm gonna blow this out. Ooh, it's hot. Oh god, I don't wanna kill myself. It's very warm in there. Well, I think that I've had enough chocolate for one day. I still have a lot of stuff left. <laughs> but I hope you guys liked this video. I like sitting down and chatting with you. Let me know if you want me to do more of these types of videos. I think they're really, really fun. And I had a blast. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.